It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Wednesday, the 23rd of December. I'm Michael Groff. A small cooling trend for the rest of the week with an increase in clouds as well as we head toward Christmas. The weekend looks great, and then we see a little bit of forecast uncertainty coming in here for next week. The potential for cooler and unsettled weather, but will that spell out to any rain here in Phoenix? Let's talk about it. First, yesterday, 70 degrees, the afternoon high, 45 was the morning low. The normal high, 65, the normal low, 44. And we are rapidly heading up toward three inches behind on rainfall for the year. Could we cut into that deficit? We will see. And outside right now here at 6, 10 a.m., partly cloudy sky out there. And we're sitting at 44 degrees at Sky Harbor, two points at 27, relative humidity 51%. The winds are light and the barometer is rising. Temperatures this morning, 29, the cool spot at Fort McDowell, 30 in Goldfield. Most locations through the metro are in the mid-30s to middle 40s or so. Here's the upper air look across the country this morning. A major winter storm moving into the nation's midsection. We've got high winds, blizzard conditions, very cold temperatures up there as well with the snowflakes flying. But here across the southwest, we are in the wake of that feature, which has passed us by and just a dry northwesterly flow and slightly cooler temperatures in here today and tomorrow. And on the watch warning map there, you see those blizzard warnings across the Dakotas and Minnesota. High wind warnings as well. Winter storm warnings for a good portion of the central and northern plains also. As that system continues to move east and temperatures are frigid up there. But here in Arizona, not a lot to worry about. We do have a wind advisory out there toward Bullhead City, Lake Havasu, Laughlin, over toward Bishop, California. Uh, but that's about the only sensible weather we have in our region right now. The convective outlook for today, the standard slight risk of severe storms around Baton Rouge, New Orleans, over toward Gulfport, Mississippi, with a marginal risk for some of the adjacent states. And the precipitation outlook, this is valid through next Wednesday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts in Phoenix, under a tenth of an inch, somewhat heavier totals up north with a storm system due in here early next week. Still quite a bit of model spread regarding this feature. We'll try to break that down as we take a look at modeling now. Here we go. The GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. All right, there's our major winter storm out across the Plain States. Very cold air there. A big ridge building along the west coast. A northwesterly flow aloft here. So down at the surface, partly sunny this morning, becoming mostly sunny this afternoon. Highs should be in the mid-60s. I'd say between about 64 and 67, which is pretty much where we ought to be for this time of the year. Tonight, the sky becomes partly cloudy, overnight lows, mid-30s to about 40 or so, and then tomorrow, a further increase in clouds with a weak wave approaching us from the west. We've been talking about this feature for a while. Uh, unlikely to see anything from this, maybe a little bit of Virga across northern Arizona, perhaps a sprinkle someplace, but even that I would seriously doubt. And high temperatures a bit cooler tomorrow, low 60s, again with plenty of clouds. That feature moves out of here by Thursday night, and then Christmas Day looks pretty good. Partly cloudy sky in the morning, mostly sunny in the afternoon. High temperatures, mid-60s, a perfect day. The weekend looks great, too. Saturday, mostly sunny, high temperatures. Again, somewhere in the mid-60s and pretty much the same deal on Sunday. We might even sneak into the upper 60s. There could be an increase in clouds Sunday, too. We'll call it a mix of sun and clouds. But here we go to Monday. We've got a trough approaching the central and southern California coast. And there are two distinct solutions that are coming through here on the ensemble guidance. One shows a slower and deeper system with more robust moisture advection. The other is a more progressive solution. And that's kind of the direction the GFS is leaning in, at least somewhat here. So taken at face value, we'd see an increase in clouds on uh, Monday with high temperatures still in the mid 60s. And then Monday night and Tuesday, a chance of showers coming through, but not a big rain producer. Breezy conditions, the better chance of any rain or snow would be across northern Arizona. Still a small chance we could see something. But if those slower and deeper solutions pan out, uh, then we could see a much more prolonged rain event in here that could start on Tuesday, maybe even linger into Wednesday. We'll just have to see how it plays out for now. I've tailored the forecast around a more progressive solution at this point. But hey, things can change and we'll take whatever rain we can get out of this. One thing that does appear to be more likely is that high temperature is going to fall off pretty dramatically here. We should be down in the mid and upper 50s. All right, now here's a week from today. This is Wednesday the 30th. And again, the GFS having this system moved out into the Plain States now and a cool northwesterly flow in its wake. High temperatures upper 50s to about 60. Let's go out 10 days to, hey, look at this, New Year's Day, the start of 2021. 
And looks like a fairly mild, tranquil start to the new year with a dry northwesterly flow, high temperatures pretty close to seasonal averages, if that pans out. And as we check out rainfall for the next couple of weeks for the Phoenix area, coming off of the European Ensemble, 51 members in this, and about 80% of them show precipitation, so that's good news. The Ensemble mean only about 15 hundredths of an inch, so not looking overly aggressive here, but still not bad. And then temperatures off the national blend of models, 67 today, 64 tomorrow, 60s through the weekend. Then we drop into the 50s next week with that system coming through and signs of cooler weather. Overnight lows mostly in the 40s, of course. The cooler spots get down in the 30s. And that will do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning where we'll do Photo Friday, but it'll be on Thursday. Photo Friday on Thursday. I don't know. We'll figure it out because no video for Christmas Day. That's my Christmas present to you. You get a break from me. All right. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Be safe out there and have yourselves a beautiful Wednesday.